We're here in New York to announce the formation of Ruttle Corps. Uh, Nasty and I have, have come over on behalf of the other Ruttles. Yeah, they couldn't come. Yeah. Uh. We, we're setting up Ruttle Corps uh, as a kind of enterprise that people can come to us and we'll help them, we'll, we'll give them money. Yeah. Uh, you know, if they want money, they just come to us. Yeah, instead of going to a bank. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we want to help people to help themselves. Ruttle Corps did just that. People helped themselves for years. At one stage, they were losing money faster than the British government. There have been continued allegations that Ruttle Corps is going bankrupt. Eric Manchester, the Ruttle's press agent, are these allegations true? No, no. No, they're, uh, they're conjecture, you know. They're, they're sort of rumour. I think you find that where you get success, you'll always find this sort of rumour. No. So the stories of the theft, they not true also? Uh, no, they're greatly exaggerated, greatly exaggerated. Uh, it's bad, you know, things are going, but uh, nothing like the rate that, that people indicate. The trouble is that people feel that because, because these boys are the Ruttles, people can come in and just help themselves to whatever they want, and this is just not on. And we're putting a stop to this, and we are doing, you know, it, it, it's almost dried up. Uh, things have gone. I won't deny it, television sets. The odd car belonging to the company has, uh, has disappeared, but uh, it's not extreme, you know. Although, I did come in once and find that my office had been nicked, mm. but it had been nicked by, uh, by Ron Decline, who we'd called in to stop this sort of uh, flow of goods from the building, so that was all right. Mm. So once you see this stop, do you feel that Ruttle Coal will continue into the future? Absolutely. I feel that once we've put a stop to this sort of bit of petty pilfering, Ruttle Coal will last for a very, very, very... For a while, three chapters of the Redditch Hells Angels lived in the basement at Ruttlecourt before Stig had the nerve to ask them to leave. Who hurt Stig? One of the girls. Who? Big Valerie. We're very upset, but there's not much we can do about it. Why not? Well, she'll thump me. So, Stig injured by Big Valerie. The Ruttles next opened a clothes boutique in London, which lost nearly a million dollars in only three weeks before Nasty blew it up. 